Chancellor, 0.3 the GDP read from this morning. That's not a great number, a little worse than anticipated as well. What will your fiscal plans do to improve that number? Well, first of all, I think the growth number is another welcome sign that the fundamentals of the UK economy remain strong. You know, what we've seen under the Conservatives now is nine consecutive years of growth, record high employment, wages rising higher than inflation. And uh, what we are setting out in terms of our own fiscal plans is, first of all, we set out your fiscal rules that will mean that spending and borrowing always remain under control. But these are rules that also allow us to invest in the people's priorities, but also in economic infrastructure, much more than we do today. But the important thing here is keeping that spending under control. What we're seeing from the Labour Party are effectively no fiscal rules, especially around borrowing and debt ever-increasing debt, which will almost certainly send this country back into an economic crisis within months, not years. Will your economic plans, though, be expansionary? Will your economic plans add to the growth figures, and by how much? Well, our economic plans have already added to the growth figures. A few months ago, I set up my spending review, which uh, increased spending uh, by £13.4 billion a year. I think that was needed. I think it was a welcome uh, input into the strength of the economy as well. But again, you need to keep spending like that under control. The plans that we have for infrastructure, for an infrastructure revolution, more investment in roads, in rail, in fibre optic connections, that will almost certainly you know, give a real big boost to the economy uh, in, in due course. But what we also want to see is that is that spending being kept under control. And we can do that with our fiscal rules. Okay. Under Labour, they will be out of control. Why won't you give details of your fiscal plans at this point in time? Like some of the world's biggest bond funds are avoiding UK guilds because they're worried that whoever wins the election, that there will be more spending and that there will be more issuance. Why can't you clarify that at this point in time? Well, the reason I set out last week what our fiscal rules will be should we win the election is precisely to give that confidence to to businesses and to international investors. You know, I don't take for granted international investment at all. I'm a former business person myself, yeah. and I know that you need to uh, show very clearly what the economic policies are of the government and also uh, how you will work hard to attract and keep that investment in the UK. But what we, what the alternative uh, to yeah. the Conservatives is a Labour Party that will have spending out of control and also not remove the biggest uncertainty in our economy today, which is Brexit. We've got a Brexit deal that is ready to go. We can implement it within weeks of taking office and have a smooth exit from our friends in the EU. And only we as Conservatives can do that. Will guilt issuance rise under the plans that you expect to put forward? Well, guilt issuance will stay under control under our plans. Will it so rise? We, we, we've, set, we've set out our fiscal rules which show that in terms of day-to-day -day spending, it will always be in balance. We will, and I've, I've been very clear about this, we will sensibly borrow more to invest in economic infrastructure, but that is a whole world of difference between you know, our plans of sensible yep. investment in economic infrastructure versus Labour's plans, which is endless amounts of borrowing. But how much more will you borrow? We will, we, with the fiscal rules will keep borrowing under control. If we win the election, then we will have within weeks our first budget as a new government. And in that budget, you would expect to see the detail and the independent forecast from the OBR about the impact of our spending and tax decisions. And, and, that, and that's important. But to get there, we need to win this election and show, as we are, that we are the fiscally responsible party we always have been. And over the last uh, nine years since we've been in office, we've seen this economy recover. Uh, to is we've seen almost 20% of uh, growth in the economy in that period. Yep. And uh, we've done far better than many of our competitors. But to keep that growth going, we need to have a fiscally responsible government and only the Conservatives can offer that. Have you asked the Governor of the Bank of England to stay on? Will you ask the Governor of the Bank of England to stay on, given the uncertainty that exists at the moment? Uh, there's no need for an extension in the term of the Governor of the Bank of England. If we were to win this election, we can make a decision very, very quickly uh, on who the next Governor should be. And uh, if we win, we will act very quickly.